Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to do the technique called cloisonne. Faux, faux cloisonne. Hard to say. Uh, that's these flowers here and it's very very simple. First of all you will take any old catalog or um, magazines or anything like that. I'm using the newly retired uh, occasions catalog and I'm going to be using this image right here off of this part of the page. You can use any part of it um, with this. This was some grass. This was just a part of the scene. I think there's even um, right here you can kind of tell this was the lady's arm in the picture. So it doesn't really matter what is in the picture it just shows up different ways. The first step to do this is use your embossing buddy to get any static off of the uh, magazine otherwise you'll have all kinds of little uh, flecks of static from the gold embossing powder. What I've noticed is the ink will rub off of your embossing buddy and cause some of the, uh, it, it will create a black spot on your embossing buddy which will transfer onto the paper. So to prevent that, I'm just using a dryer sheet because that will also work, but I like the way that the resin from the embossing buddy comes out with this. So I'm just going to rub it with my embossing buddy like that and you will see I don't know if you can tell but some of it did transfer on to the dryer sheet. Next step is take your Versamark and I'm using the stamp from Beautiful Bunch. You want to use an image that has lines like this image would not really work so well and this one for sure would not work because it wouldn't show any of the magazine through the, uh, it, it would just be too solid, solid of an image. So this is the stamp that we're using. So I'm going to ink it up. Now if you notice, right here, you'll see a little dot, and that's to show me that on the punch, right here is a matching dot, that that's the way that the punch will be, the, the stamp will need to be going so that it will match up easily. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp it like that. Again, my dot going in the one direction. Take it off. We'll trim it out a little bit so that I don't I don't need the whole piece here. Okay. And then we'll use gold embossing powder. And I like to keep my embossing powder in a sandwich container. That way, all you need to do is dunk it in, shake it out. Now, when you do emboss, you never want to put it down like this and smash it down. Uh, that will cause the image to smear. So you just put the powder like that and give it a good close it up before you emboss because otherwise you'll have embossing powder all over the place and then we'll simply emboss it I'm heating up my tool just a little bit and I'm also looking for I have this silver um, it's just a piece of card stock or card cardboard with aluminum foil over the top and this makes a nice handle and then I have a clothespin that I use to hang on to it but this this helps so I don't burn my fingers can't find the clothespin at this moment so you'll just emboss it and you don't go like this when you emboss you just hold it in one spot and see it emboss and that's it But again, this 
this little piece of cardboard with the aluminum foil on it really makes it easy to not burn yourself. I will have to trim this down to get it into the punch and hopefully it's enough. And not quite. Alright, trim it down a little bit more. And that lines up. Now if I didn't have that dot there, I'd be trying to rotate it in different ways to try to get it to work. And see how pretty that that flower turned out. And by comparison of the other flowers, um, it just is really a nice look. And here is a sheet that I use in my technique classes that the participants can take home and we put the flower there, all the instructions, and they're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Thank you.